Hi, I'm Haley with Silver Moon Branding and Design, and I'm back with another tutorial. This time we're going to be creating a Las Vegas style bottle using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Dimension to create a 3D render. So let's go. All right, so first I'm going to start by going to Illustrator and I'm going to open up a new document. It doesn't really matter what shape or size because we're going to just export these as selections, not as artboards. So um, once you have that open, drag the straight on image of the bottle. In this case, it is this Las Vegas style bottle. First, I'm just gonna make it really big. I'm going to embed it just so that I have an easier viewpoint. Um, so then I lock that layer. This can be the reference layer and then this can be the art layer. Um, I'll rename that because I have OCD. Okay, so then we draw a box on to the art layer, um, selecting this tool here. And you want to find the outside edges of the bottle. So since this is the widest um, width of the bottle, I'm just going to kind of take a shortcut and find the center this way. So yeah, you can see I lined up the edges there. Um, I'm going to hit Command R to bring up my rulers. You can also do this under View and Rulers here. Um, it would say Show, or you can click Hide, but I'm going to Show and then drag to this dot right there where it says center. So this will give me a good guide because I am just creating half of the bottle and then we'll revolve the shape around it. So now I use my pen tool because it's my favorite. It's the one in my logo because <laughs> I just love the pen tool um, and go around and trace it. So um, this kind of shows a curve with the angle but you don't have to create that here. We'll create that with the shape. So you can kind of fudge it a little bit, you know, if it's off, a centimeter or so it's not going to matter in the long run um, so that's why I just use straight angles because I want a straight open mouth once it's a shape and oh, my computer is slowing down probably because I have too many things open <laughs> there we go I remember when I started designing and like I don't know my first job was at a healthcare center in 2013. And at that time you really couldn't have more than one program open. Like it would crash and there was no recovery. Like you would lose all of your work. So I'm still a little triggered, but now that you can kind of like go off, uh, off topic a little bit or go off the chart. I don't know. I'm having an off day, you guys. <laughs> a little tired um, from world events, but we're going to make it through. We're going to keep working. This client has a Las Vegas bottle, so we're making it. All right, so now I have this outline. I'm going to swap it to outline, and then I'm going to bevel the corners that need to be beveled. I just like this tool so much. Again, throwback. We didn't have this when I first started designing, so it was very manual of a process. Um, this saves my life, and I love it so much. Um, I didn't really like how this angle kind of like jutted in, so I'm gonna use this smooth tool to just clean that up. And you can see it created a few new anchor points for me, made that really smooth. Because sometimes when you add materials and dimensions, it can create like weird reflections, like the lighting, you can tell there's like a seam or you know a pixel that's a little out of place. So sometimes I'll just go and clean up all my lines like this so that it like I don't need it so pixel perfect, like glass is not a perfect art in itself, like the molds and everything, there are imperfections. So I don't want it too perfect, I just want it, you know, a little cleaned up. And then I'm going to curve the base down here, and that looks good to me as an outline. So now what I'm going to do, I actually don't know why I connected these, because we don't need them connected. So I'm going to actually delete this center line here. That's probably a good thing to mention. You don't need that. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this shape. I just kind of use option, nudge, and then nudge it back. It's my little cheat. makes it faster. Um, and then increase the stroke like a lot um, until it's the thickness that I think that glass would be. So you can see in here this line, just kind of like distortion of, okay, inside the bottle, like the glass gets thicker towards the top. So We'll kind of emulate that later, but just for the purposes of the baseline of the glass thickness, I'm going to go with six point stroke. Um, and then I'm going to go to path and outline stroke. Uh, flip those inside out and then use that scissors tool again to trim the outside there. 
and to trim. We'll do the inside there. So since I'm going with the inside line, I'm going to delete that outside line because we're talking about the inside thickness and then use my little wand. What is this? Little direct selection tool, the A shortcut. And I'm gonna tweak these lines. So it kind of looked like um, this got thicker there, so I'm gonna delete some of these. Oh, and the other thing that we have to do, whoop, the other thing that we have to do is create an opening at the top. So you can either, once you get to this point, I'll add another um, anchor point there and then delete these and then join them, join them up here. That way it'll be an opening when we revolve the shape. Um, it'll still retain the thickness as long as we have the bottom down here, or it'll retain the width of the shape. So, um, and then at the bottom you can see it's pretty fancy. It's got a really thick base. Whether that's to keep it from tipping over or whatever reason, um, I just kind of think it looks fancy. So let's include that. I'll take these anchor points and I will move them up so that it creates that base. I think that's a pretty good shape. Sometimes like with wine bottles, there's a little bit of like a, a peak right here, you know, like a little wave in the middle, like, like someone pushed it with their thumbs. So sometimes it's nice to add that um, for the shape. So I'm gonna do that here, just to give it a little something. I think that's too high, so yeah, that's probably good. And then I think that's pretty much it. This one's pretty easy. Like I could go deeper in with this, but I don't think it matters that much. Um, so now we are going to take these and we are going to hit Command J or Control J if you're, sorry, I do all the Mac shortcuts because that's what I have, but um, Control J or Command J to join the shape into one shape so that you can see it's all together. There it is. Um, so now we have the half section of the bottle. We're gonna open up the 3D materials and we're gonna hit Revolve and there's our shape. Pretty cool. Um, again, we can come down here to the presets and you can kind of rotate it around, see how it's going to look. Um, that looks pretty good to me. We're going to come to File, Export Selection, and I'm going to choose my desktop. And from the drop down list, we pick OBJ. And then I'll name this Las Vegas Bottle. And there it goes. So now that we are in Adobe Dimensions, I just opened our basic, I just said click new project and this is what it gives us. So since I want a pretty high quality render, I'm gonna shrink the view to 100% instead of the default. And I'm going to grab the frame and stretch it. I like to pick like 2000 has been kind of my like happy spot. Yeah, that's good. Um, and you can change the scale of this any which way. I kind of just pick the wider option because it lets me show the shadows a little bit better. Um, let me, it lets me show some angles and for desktop, it just feels more natural. Um, so now I have the OBJ shape and I'm gonna place it. Oh, and it's really big. So we'll zoom out. That's the other thing, if you wanted it to be really precise to the actual specs of the bottle, um, you can go to this transform and you can see that it's in points. Um, so if I change my units, if I go back to, we'll try inches for us Americans. Um, so you can see that this is actually one inch wide and nine inches high. I think it's mostly just talking about the shape here. So really it would be like 2.2 inches wide and nine inches tall. So that's not quite exact to life. So if you wanted exact to life, you could go to that listing and you could make it exactly just right. Um, but for the purposes of a mock-up, I don't always get so technical. If I'm making like a spec sheet for a custom bottle, then I will because it just helps overall with placing artwork and you know, moving forward in that process. But for this, we'll just roll with it this way. Um, grab this little pan tool, get it squared, 
cool. I wish that Dimension would have a feature where it would bring in my OBJ name with the model. Instead of just saying model, it would say Las Vegas bottle, which is what it was named when I brought it in. Um, if anyone knows a hack that can make that happen, cool. But if not, like I'm just wasting my time with file names. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go to substance material and I'm gonna choose glass. And now you can see if we click the render preview, that's our bottle. So this one was really easy, you guys. Like it didn't really have much other than creating that shape. Um, but what we can do that we can make it come to life a little bit more is we can create the T-top cork and the liquid that goes inside. So join me for part two to see that.